Good morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut. It is Wednesday morning and we're doing a quick chemical transfer. I've tapped into my reserves here. I've got roughly 500 gallons worth of chemical in my shock pile, stockpile of shock. I don't even know, what is there? Seven barrels right there, another 50 gallons here. I just cracked open a new 50. Took about 20 out of there. Filling this up, almost done. So what I'm gonna do now is... Right, now we're filling up the soap tank. I put about that much eliminator in there today. So a good 20, 30 ounces of eliminator. This tank was nearly empty. I'm purging my roof line into that tank, running 50-50. So we're gonna fill that up with 50-50 today with 30 ounces or so of eliminator. And I'm hoping to make a little bit thicker soap. I've got a nice roof wash coming up. It's a bit rainy out today. We want to make, make sure things stick a little bit. And that's how we do it. All right, I'm out here with Patrick today. And we got this beautiful home. This place is freaking gorgeous. Landscaped everywhere, beautiful pool in the back. And we're doing roof washing on all of these front facing roofs. As you saw, it's raining pretty torrentially here today. Thankfully, we have our onboard radar and we see that we have a little gap, so it's good. We're gonna shoot now. I'm shooting 6% here today to try to help compensate for any moisture that's on the roof. Uh, the pictures that the client sent me aren't too bad. And as I'm here, I can see there's really only some mildew and a little bit of lichen at the very top. So we've got the 32, the 24, and the 16 all staged. We got our power wash line pulled out, ready to go, and the 12 volt, of course, po pulled out, ready to go. Who's that kid? It's not a kid, that's a man. That's Patrick Deary on the job today. No school. You know, we decided we're not gonna go to school anymore, right? No more school, sick of it. We're just gonna wash houses. Why not? So anyway, we're stage ready to go. Patrick's my ground guy today, and here we go. That's right professional oh yeah I'm gonna start by relieving this gutter there it goes one boogie, baby. That's where it's bad, right there. That's the worst of it. And it has completely stopped raining for the moment. I'm gonna try to take advantage of our window. Oh yeah, soap is kicking in real nice. We got no gutter on the garage. I'm actually able to shoot this from the ground, not on the 16, so I'm gonna take the shot from the ground. Unfortunately, we're gonna have a bunch of chem in this driveway in a minute. Everything's already wet, thank goodness. And then we're just gonna do the best job we can rinsing the driveway when we're done.
Project number two. Okay, out on the next project. Gutter guard removal failure. Okay, cleaning gutter guards, washing the house, washing the fence, all the fun stuff. All right, and the house is very dirty. We're gonna start soaping this dark side first so it gets the longest dwell time because clearly I'm gonna need it. And work our way around. I got Patrick on the leaf blower, taking care of the debris down bottom. And I got all the guards off of this house and the roof blown off in its entirety and all the gutters blown out in their entirety. And we talked to the client about the gutter guards being failed and needing to come off. And we upsold the gutter guard removal a little bit because it's more work for us. And let them know that they're going to have to be maintaining these gutters every year. And that's something we want to do. And you can be like, oh, well, you did that just so you can have the service. That's not the case. These things are not working. It's a disaster. You can put new guards on if you want. I'll be happy to do that for you too. But until you want to take that expense on, you're asking me what I suggest you do, take them off. So we can properly clean the gutters. Boom. All right, this project is nearly done. Patched on final rinse mode in the very front. We've got all of our equipment rinsed. Fence in the front is done. Just sold them the seasonal agreement. So that means gutter maintenance twice a year for me here, spring and fall, and washing again in the spring. Gave them a nice price, which works for both of us, and they're thrilled to have the property maintained on a regular basis. Right, try again. Oh, dude, it counts. Last project of the day. We got 190 feet of panel fence. And then we're going to get some food.